super protest. Now, I've had an email through. Uh, I know, as uh, somebody else has already put on about queues, uh, so I have genuinely been asked for it. Uh, if anybody wants to know the emailer's uh, name, I'll give it to him with pleasure. So I'm not pinching anything, I'm not stealing anything. It's a question of generally been asked. Uh, queues in general are a very personal thing. Uh, and it's up to the individual what they actually like. What I've actually been asked for is cues and accessories. So if we just take my cue uh, as a for instance, uh, it's a one piece cue, uh, it's a Joe Davies Club cue, uh, it's at least 30 years old, uh, it is in one piece, as you can see, and the only modification I've, I've made to the cue actually is uh, the ferrule there, which goes with age, uh, and also at the back end, here, you can just about get that in. Uh, I've had a little joint put in the end there so I don't screw an extension on. Uh, if you like to see the plate, uh, there's the plate. So it's a, a Joe Davies Club cube. And as I say, it's about 30 years old. And uh, I know it's 30 years old because that's how long I've had it. Uh, so it's probably older than that actually, but I've had it for 30 years, so I know it's at least 30 years. Uh, the extension now. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of take the camera out so as we can see the extension and the little mini butt this is a big thing now in uh, in snooker these mini butts and what they're for is when you're just sort of overstretching slightly you can screw the mini butt in like so and so now it makes your cube just that that little bit extra longer so if you've got one where you're just stretching slightly you screw the mini bit butt on there and there it is now if it is somebody out there is sort of looking to buy in a queue and the best, it, it's all personal preference. Just because I use a one-piece cue doesn't make any difference. I mean, the joints now are very good, so you can have your joint in the middle, so it's a two-piece cue, or you can have your joint, say, somewhere around this area, so it's now a, a three-quarter cue. There's no problem with that at all. It's all personal preference. Now, I'll sort of get into that a little bit later on if you're thinking of buying a cue. Now, the extension to this cue actually fits in the butt, like this. Because with it being a one piece cue, I didn't want to split it. So I had the, I had the joint put in the butt, or I should say the thread put in the butt, so now I screw it on. The advantage to having the, the thread in the bottom is that now actually what I have got, because I'm not the tallest player in the world, I'm only about 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, seven and a half. But what I have got now is I've got a half butt, which is the smaller, longer cue when you look on the side of the table there. And when I fully extend it, it now actually becomes a full butt as well. So even though I'm the, a, sh a short built player, five foot seven, five foot seven and a half, I can reach everywhere on the table. So I can go from one corner to the other corner and still reach. This now means that I don't actually need uh, the equipment that they, they put on the sides of tables. Uh, and I find this quite good. So that could be an idea for you if you are actually buying a queue is to maybe uh, get the extension so it fits in the butt of the queue and thus giving you this option. So basically that's my queue. But I have been asked by several people uh, regarding buying queues, how do I go about it, weight. Uh, that's another thing which he does on his clip. I have watched it, uh, you know, I'll fully admit to it. Goes into detail about weight and balance and this, that and the other. Uh, it's too much because what's right for somebody else isn't right for you. So what I advise you do, where it's possible, and where it is possible, if it is you play in a club and you've got uh, just some rack cues or people in general who use cues, pick up three or four. So we've got three, three or four here, all different. So now what you can gauge is you can get some form of idea of sort of what you like, how, how, how long you would like it. Most cues are pretty standard. You can see I've just picked these. These are, these are at random. So if I get them all together and put my cue there at the side, you see my cue's roughly about the same length as all of them. You might get some a little bit shorter. But the one thing is where they all differ is they might be a little bit thicker in the butt. This one is roughly the same as my own. This one here is a little bit thinner. This one is thinner still. And this one is somewhere in the middle. The other thing is the type of wood you want it to be made out of. Uh, mine is ash. This one here is maple. 
uh, and all rosewood butts. This, I think, is a darker rosewood. Uh, so, all in all, cues are very different and very personal to each individual player. So, if it is now you, you're thinking about buying a cue or you want to invest in buying a cue, but you're not quite sure what to look for, just take a few cues out the rack, pick them all up, and, and just, it's all on feel. Which one feels right to you? So now, if I, if I hadn't got that one, I've got to take the pick now. I just go through all four and try various shots with them, how they feel. And from then, then I start working out how heavy I would like the cue because I can wait, how long I would like the cue because I can measure it, how thick I would like the cue here because again, you feel it in your hands, you can measure it. And again, the tip size, this one hasn't got a tip on, this one I'm just taking out the rack. Uh, and and I, whether you want a, a, a whippy shaft or whether you want a nice thick one. So all these things come into play when, you, when you're when dealing with cues. Uh, the one thing you can do is do, a, with now the internet, you can do a little bit of own work on the internet and go through the various makers that are out there. I, I'm not sure I don't advertise on YouTube, so I won't. But if, uh, if there are people out there who want to know certain makers, and then by all means email me, I'll, I'll do my best to try and recommend some, but uh, a few makers. Uh, but most of the pros, they, they'll have articles somewhere and tell you what cues they play with. And that basically is, is cues in general. Don't worry about the weight, don't worry about balance points and all the rest of it. Just play with it, just find a cue, pick it up and play with it. And if you can do that, then you can start looking into how much they cost. Again, set yourself a budget, the most expensive cue won't be the best one. If you have a cue that costs a million pounds, it won't make you a world champion. Uh, if it is you find a cue that costs you a tenner and you like it, there you go. If it is now you're struggling uh, with overseas and you're sort of struggling with cue makers and whatever have you, this now becomes a little bit more tricky because obviously you've got to get the cue shipped out to yourselves. So on that uh, side of it, that now is very difficult. So the best thing you can do there again is the same as I've said and then hopefully you'll get a nice cue that's uh, sent out there to you but it's no exact science it's very difficult in fact so where you can try and get the cue at all times so as you can feel it and how you want to play with it uh, and basically that's cues but please don't worry too much about weight i don't know the weight of my cue i don't know the length of my cue the tip size i've got a rough idea it's about 10 millimeter and that's that's all i know because it, i've had it that long now picked it up from when I was a young boy uh, and, and played with it ever since uh, and, and that is just about everything on cues where you can only play with one cue because all cues play differently if it is you get two cues they may come from the same piece of wood they may have been made by the same man on the same machine oh by the way my cues machine spliced and hand spliced uh, they may be made by the same man and yet they will play completely different so the cues very difficult it's one that you like not the one that somebody tells you if it is you've got somebody who plays in the same club as you again just ask him if you can have a hold of his cue see what it feels like see how it plays and then take it from there and uh, uh, cues that's basically about it uh, they haven't changed anything in the last 60 70 years or so uh, that'll answer a few questions but please don't worry about balance points don't worry about length don't wor worry about weight it's all what feels good so remember just pick a few cues up have a little trial run and just give it just take it from there the other thing is like like I've said give yourself a little budget as you want to you want to stick to or you're willing to pay because also the other thing which you need with a cue is a case the case is one of the most important things because that looks after your queue. Uh, the one thing I will say to you is that once you have bought a queue and you like it, that queue will last you for as long as I've had mine, which is 30 years, and I plan on using this queue now for however long, another 30 years, 40, 50 years, hopefully. Uh, so uh, that's about it with queues. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the, the video. I uh, hope it's not been too boring and I've talked too much. This has been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you.